One of the reasons why I like to share a peek behind the scenes into my writing process is because as a younger writer, I, it was very mysterious to me. Like, how do other people go from having an idea to having a published book? And what does that feel like? And, you know, I know I had some misconceptions about it all. And sometimes I even wonder, like, what would it be like to talk to my younger self and give her a chance to, you know, ask me some questions? And what would that be like? Hey, 14-year-old Stephanie, it's me, 42-year-old Stephanie. How are you? So good to see you again. Do you have a minute to chat? Wow, hi. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have a minute. I was about to watch reruns of The Partridge Family and make s'mores in the microwave, but yeah, we can talk for a minute. I won't keep you for too long, but I just wanted to let you know that um, at age 42, you and I, um, we are published authors, we write children's books, and um, it's awesome, it's so much fun. Um, we love, I love getting to live a creative life. And there are some things that I thought it might be helpful to know um, earlier, so that you know I could share some things with you, maybe you could keep in mind, uh, that might be helpful to you as you start walking the path toward where I am. Oh my gosh, a published children's book writer? That is so cool. That's like one of the things that I thought I might want to be. That's such a like crazy coincidence. Yeah, I mean, maybe not really a coincidence because like, you know, I was you and yes, yes, it's cool. That's just like so exciting and cool because like, I feel like sometimes like writing is hard and like, I don't know how to do it. I want to do it, but like, how do I even do it? You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm so happy that like, by the time I'm your age, I'm going to have it figured out and it's going to like be easy and just like purely fun. And that's going to be like so cool. Right. Well, so that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, um, which is, you know, something I kind of wish I would have known when I was your age is that there's not really a point where you you get to where you're like, oh, now this is so easy and I know what I, I'm doing all the time and I feel really confident and I'm, I have no more doubts and I'm not afraid anymore. And the truth is like, um, even at my age, and I'm sure like probably forever at this point, like there's just a lot of like, fear and uncertainty and like, oh, am I doing this right? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. That goes along with being a creator and a writer and that it's totally fine. Like you just keep going, you keep doing it anyway. And um, that messiness is just part of the process. It's totally fine. It's nothing to like beat yourself up about. Oh my gosh, wait, what? You've been doing it for like a whole bunch of years already, but it's still hard? That doesn't sound very good. Maybe I should just like pick something else to do. I'll just like be a movie star or something. That sounds easier. Yeah, well, you can keep your options open. Uh, but if you do decide to become a writer, and I hope you do because it's something that I have loved, um, just know that, you know, that fear, doubt, sometimes difficulty, and even, you know, feeling like you want to quit from time to time is part of being on this path. It's okay, it doesn't mean you're on the wrong path. It just means that you're out in the wilderness of discovery of uh, uncharted territory. And it, it can be kind of scary to be out there, but it's awesome too. And just keep going, keep writing, you will get better. Um, and certain things will get easier. So um, yeah, just, just stick with it. I believe in you. <sighs> okay, well, I guess I'll think about it. But just tell me this. As a writer, are we like so famous right now? By so famous, do you mean like, does my cat know who I am? Yeah. Gilbert knows exactly who I am. I'm actually like the most famous person in his world, if I think about it. I'm the one who gives him his food, so that makes sense. But if you're talking about, like, am I, like, so famous 
as a children's book writer, um, you know, not, not really at this time, but that's not really what it's about for me. Um, for me, it's really like the juicy work of just having a daily writing practice, trying to see my way into new stories, um, having the courage to stay the course and um, not necessarily focusing on like the success or failure of one particular book, but just the broader commitment of living a creative life, which um, if that's my goal, then I can't, I can't fail. I can't lose. So, okay. Well, at least you're married to Leonardo DiCaprio. It's been really good talking to you, Stephanie. Thank you for the time. And just hang in there. Keep going. Keep following um, your passions and interests and let them lead you where they will. Um, Keep practicing your writing. And um, yeah, enjoy that episode of the Partridge Family and those microwave s'mores. Although I will tell you, if you roast the marshmallow uh, over the gas uh stovetop flame it just tastes a little bit better all right i'll see you down the road